hey what's going on guys in today's video we are going to take a look at how to create this minimal title animation inside davinci resolve uh, so to get started open up davinci resolve and the first thing that we'll do is click on this little cog icon on the bottom right side uh, to open up the project settings and here we'll change the timeline frame rate to 60 and click on save and then in the effects library we're going to search for fusion so we can just type in fusion composition drag it onto the timeline so by default uh, the duration of this comp will be five seconds you can if you want to change it you can do that right on the timeline itself um, but five seconds is good enough so i'll just go inside the fusion tab and here we'll just you know create our animation so i'm going to put this media out to the right and i'm going to right click in the flow and set the arrange tools to grid right so now we're going to drag in the text plus node just uh, see this node you can just simply drag this onto the viewer to see the node or you can just you know click on these uh, little circle icons uh, so i'm going to display it on the left side and then i'm going to type in my text so i'll just type in animation okay so we can now scale it up and now we'll just uh, create an instance of this text so to do that you can just simply right click on this node and click on copy and you can just right click and click on paste instance both these nodes are text nodes but these two nodes are linked so if you change something in one node the same changes will reflect on the other so right now i'm on the text one node which is this one the one at the top and if i add some text or you know change its size you'll notice that the same thing will happen on the instance text node as well similarly if we change something in instance text you'll see that the changes will take place on the text one which is our original text node so these two are linked uh, which is what we want but what we won't, don't want linked is the center x and y so we'll just go to the layout click on the second tab and here we have the center x and y we'll be animating center x and y so we'll just right click on it and click on the instance now what we'll do is we'll just select our first text we can uh, we can select this node the first text node and we can add a rectangle mask on this so just click on the rectangle mask icon to add a rectangle mask node on this we'll just put this on the left and in the rectangle one on the right side we have the properties and i've already done this so i'm going to change the center x to 0 0.25 so this will cover our left side of the text and we'll do the same thing with instance text as well select that node and then click on a rectangle to add a rectangle mask on this and on the rectangle two we'll set the center x to 0 0.75 now we have the left side and the right side uh, now we need to merge these two together so to do that we can just simply connect the output of text one and uh, connect it with the instance text output uh, which will result in this merge node and we can just simply drag this merge node onto the viewer or you can just you know click on this circle icon to display it on the left side i'm going to go into this single view mode let me just make some room over here all right so this is our merge node so it has left side and the right side merged together and now we can simply create a simple animation so for that what we'll do is we'll just go to 60th frame and i'm going to select text one go to layout and i'm going to keyframe it so i'm going to keyframe center x and y remember we have the instance there so just click on the diamond icon to create a keyframe and now at 60th frame we have these values i'm going to go back to zero and change the center x so the left side i'm going to move it the left x i'm going to move it to the right somewhere over there i'm going to select instance text now and i'm going to go to layout tab and create a keyframe just make sure that your playhead is at the 60th frame create a keyframe on center x y go back to the very first frame and now we'll just move the x value to the left so somewhere over 
here now if you scrub through the timeline you will have this kind of animation now we can further improve this animation by going into the spline editor now i'm just going to select the text one node keyframes and i'm going to click on this icon to let's say zoom to fit and then i'm going to click on this icon to select all the keyframes and then i'm just click on this icon to smooth the keyframes and i'll just want this to uh, ease out at the end so i'll just hold the alt key and just drag this handle uh, uh, and make sure that the ease in is set to 100 over there you can if this ease in and ease out values are not visible make sure you hit the t key on the keyboard uh, then it will then you then you'll be able to you know see the ease in and ease out values and now i'm going to do the same thing with instance text keyframes as well zoom to fit select all the keyframes make them smooth and hold the alt key and just drag this to the left and make sure it's at 100 all right so we can exit out of this spline and if we play this animation it's going to look something like this all right so now to stylize this further we can uh, go to either of the uh, either of the two text nodes either the text one or the instance text uh, we'll just use the instance text one go to shading tab which is like the fourth tab and here we have the select element i'm going to select the fifth one which is like uh, empty all others are you know renamed to red outline this is a black shadow i don't want to mess with that i'll just select the fifth one which is you know empty slot and i'm going to click on enable and uh, i'm going to add a border around the text so i'll just click on border fill uh, and right now this uh, border is applied to every character i'm going to set this to line and i'll just uh, you know change its color i'm gonna make it red or any other color that you want and uh, yeah you can even you know control how much width or you, you can control the height of this rectangle and you can control the roundness as well but i'm just going to leave it as it is and there we have it so if you you know play this animation You'll have this uh, nice animation and if you want to you know create a see-through kind of text uh, you can easily do that by selecting the very first element and you know turn down its alpha value and make it black and now you have a uh, you know transparent text going on so and it's uh, completely responsive so if you go to the text tab you can you know change your text and it will you know respond uh, you know the box will scale according to the uh, you know according to the length of your text and then just make sure that you connect the merge output of the merge to the media out go back to your edit page and there we have our animation and now you can you know add a video track under your animation to see that if uh, it's you know you can see that this text is see-through text if that's what you want so that's pretty much it that's how you can create this uh, animation this title animation inside DaVinci Resolve uh, if you found this video helpful do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one